With NISAR, we're tracking the changes of the solid earth and how it's moving. Ecosystems, ice cover, and any other thing that's changing at the scale of a centimeter on the earth in a way that we've never been able to see before. Because of these very subtle motions we can measure, we're able to understand what's happening below the surface of the Earth at great precision. We can see subsidence, and that allows us then to manage resources of what's happening below the Earth. Scientists want to study the movements of the Earth's surface uh, to understand the processes that could trigger earthquakes, volcanoes, and landslides. And that allows us then to understand risks associated with natural hazards. Which in turn can help in mitigation measures and early response. Other changes over the Earth's surface include melting of glaciers and ice sheets, changes in forest biomass, soil moisture, and shoreline changes. It's based on radar. So it has two different frequency radars and it basically looks through clouds and sees the surface of the Earth what you're seeing is an animation of how the radar collects data and you can see these beams coming down from the antenna and coming back and on the ground you can see the swath and that's where it collects the data and when it combines them all together you get what we need for the science. We can see day and night through clouds and we're covering all of the land and all of the ice covered surfaces of Earth every week. NISAR is quite unique in that it has two radars, one provided by NASA, one provided by ISRO, the Indian Space Research Organization. NASA and ISRO have collaborated in this mission. Till last year we were there at JPL, NASA, where the radars got integrated and tested and were shipped back to India and now. The spacecraft is getting integrated with the instruments and they are being tested together. NISR is going to be launched from Srihari Kota, which is a ISRO launch pad, and it is going to be launched by GSLV Mark II. So we are just looking forward for the launch of uh, NISR in the forthcoming year. NISR is measuring the changes on the Earth's surface, which are either factors or indicators of uh, climate change. The society will also immensely benefit due to its contribution towards disaster management and providing food and water security. These things are global problems that the global community needs to come together to resolve. Now it looks like we are no more uh, belonging to two different worlds and we all belong to the space community, that's it. There's the excitement about what we are going to learn that we didn't even anticipate we are going to learn.